In this video, we will understand electric generator. An electric generator is a device which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. The electric generator is used to produce large current for use in homes and industry. Let's understand how does electric generator works. An electric generator consists of a rotating rectangular coil ABCD placed between the two poles of a permanent magnet. The ends of this coil are connected to the two rings R1 and R2 respectively. The inner side of these rings are made insulated. Here, the insulated means current cannot pass through it. The two conducting stationary brushes B1 and B2 are kept pressed separately on the rings R1 and R2 respectively. Outer ends of the two brushes are connected to the galvanometer to show the flow of current in the given external circuit. The two rings R1 and R2 are internally attached to an axle. To provide mechanical energy to the rotating axle, the axle is connected to an outer energy source. This energy source can be a steam engine which produces mechanical energy with the help of high pressurized steam. When the axle rotated, the two rings attached to the axle also rotated. The rectangular coil is attached to the rings and it also rotate along with the rings. The arm AB of the rectangular coil moves up and the arm CD moves down. As we can see, the rectangular coil is rotating in the magnetic field. So the magnetic field is changes in the rectangular coil. Due to change in the magnetic field, in rectangular coil, electromagnetic induction occurs in the coil. Whenever there is change in magnetic field, the current induces in the coil. Now, let us say the rectangular coil ABCD is rotated clockwise in the arrangement. By applying Fleming's right hand rule on segment AB, the force is acting upward and magnetic field is acting left to right. Then the current will be A to B. Similarly, by applying Fleming's right hand rule on segment CD, the force is acting downward and magnetic field is acting left to right. Then the current will be C to D. The induced currents are set up in these arms along the directions A, B and C, D. Thus, an induced current flows in the direction A, B, C, D. The current in the external circuit flows from B2 to B1. After half a rotation, arm CD starts moving up and arm AB starts moving down. As a result, the directions of the induced currents in the both arms changes. This gives rise to the net induced current in the direction DCBA. The current in the external circuit now flows from B1 to B2. Such a current which changes direction after equal intervals of time is called an alternating current. And the device is called an AC generator. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our channel.